Hey, uh, welcome to the next video in the series. Uh, I've had a few people ask me about how to do tiling textures in Substance Painter, and I figured I would just do a quick video to show you the technique I use, or uh, I guess more accurately, the setup that I use, because there's not a whole lot of technique involved. <laughs> a Substance Designer is obviously uh, made for this sort of thing, but there are occasions when you want to paint on the tiling texture, and uh, this gives you a really handy way to do it. So we'll just take a quick look at it, and hopefully you'll find it useful. Okay, so here we are in Modo. And the setup for this is actually really simple. Uh, the only thing that really uh, you have to be uh, careful of is that you start with a single quad that fills the whole 0 to 1 space of the texture. Right? That's that's pretty obvious. You're going to have a tiling texture. It's got to fill the whole you know, width and height. And the top is aligned with the top. The left is aligned with the left. And that sets us up. So then I take that single quad and tile it myself. So, so it's a 3x3 three three grid. And each one of these quads is mapped to the same 0 to 1 space. Uh, that's going to allow you to see the texture tiling inside a Substance Painter, as well as uh, make painting much simpler, which we'll see in a second. So here we are in Substance Painter. Uh, this is the same mesh that I had in Modo um, that I just exported to FBX and brought into Substance Painter as a new project and gave it a 1K texture. It's you know, no big deal. So just to review really quick, let me turn on my wireframe. Uh, these quads are all mapped to 0 to 1 space and they're all stuck together like this. Uh, this gives you a good base to paint your tiling texture. So let's give it a basis, right? Let's say, you know, we'll throw in this thing. And give me a second to just make this tile correctly. So I'll say there's one offset by half. Okay. Uh, that's, you know, that's just me, me doing what I need to do for the video. You would do whatever you were doing for your specific texture. So uh, this this base could be anything. This could be a flat image you bring in, you know, like your your diffuse texture, and you're going to paint everything on top. Or maybe you baked out a flat texture previously, something with uh, with a normal map and a curvature and everything else. You could bring all of that in and set it up as your base layer. Then just add on top of it, make a new paint layer on top, and let's say I wanted to put some more dirt uh, into these grooves in here. I can just paint it in. And I can paint wherever I want on the mesh, which is nice. You know, and it shows up the way it should. Right, you can see right there, right? Uh, when I painted down here, that created a seam there, but I can see that in real time and correct for it. And you know, once you're happy with the tiling texture, you can export it and bring it into your game engine with with confidence that it won't look tiley. Yours will obviously be good and not look like this. But anyway, that's the entire tip, and I hope you find that useful. Thank you.